Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for July 26th. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair first. Uh, this pair did move lower, close lower, is moving overall to the downside. Look forward to potentially on a reversal go as high as 78.86, possibly as low as 77.17. Look for some resistance around 78.50 and look for some support around 77.75. Let's take a look at the Euro USD pair. This pair surged to the upside, closed above previous uh, current uh, resistance. We are looking for it to continue higher, possibly going as high as 146.66, possibly as low as 142.77. Look for some resistance around 145.30 and look for some support around 143.23. Now the pound US dollar pair, it surged to the upside as well. It is moving higher. Uh, everything seems to be trending on the negative news uh, that the US Congress uh, can't get their act together to say it nicely. Uh, we are looking for this pair to potentially go as high as 165.62, possibly as low as 161.94. Look for some resistance around 164.25 and look for some support around 163. 25. Now the U.S. Swiss, this pair continues to move to the downside as well. Closed lower, broke uh, previous sessions low. Look for it to potentially go up and hit resistance around 0.8075, possibly moving down and hitting support around 0.7995. Now as far as news announcements go, we have the uh, German consumer price being released uh, for July Consensus on that is that it's held at 2.3%. Of course, that will affect the euro, no time given. We have at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time the U.S. durable goods orders for June showing a decrease from 2.1% down to 0.3%, which would be negative news for the U.S. dollar. We also have the New Zealand Reserve Bank releasing their rate decision at 5 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. Consensus on that is that they're going to hold rates at 2.50%. Now, what am I looking for uh, during this next session? Well, I kind of already said it. Uh, it seems like the U.S. dollar, uh, let's take a look at the New Zealand. You can see it's been going up pretty steep, pretty, uh, pretty strong. Looking for uh, that to continue to the upside. Let's zoom in a little bit. Looking for it to break today's high. Today's high is around the 0.8737 mark. I'd like to see it push up above that and then basically see if it'll come right up to the 0.8800 mark, grabbing basically about 60 pips there, 60 to 65 pips in between there. I do believe that we could see that happen very, very easily um, and see it go through there quickly. Um, as far as all these pairs trending against the dollar, remember to uh, you know remember the old saying that says that you buy the rumor, sell the news. Well, the rumor is you know that uh, the U.S. isn't going to pass a debt ceiling, uh, a new debt ceiling. Well, the truth is they will, and so you know a good time to buy would have would be now going against the dollar. Uh, and look to sell, you know, Monday or Tuesday or any time between now and then if they uh, actually pass something. Well, I hope that helps. And until next time, this is Jason Filder. Good trading.